Hello. Yeah. Do you want me to give you my live uh, feedback? Like, yeah. Yeah. We love it. Okay. Okay. Let me screen, share my screen real quick. You're going to make this hurt, aren't you? Well, I'm going to, I, you know, you want the truth, right? <laughs> I'm going to try to just give you like what I, what the kind of experience that I had while watching it, like try to explain to you like why I said Which one? Things. There's the one that you just sent me. The edited one? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me share my screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And you can always I, delete the video if you don't like our conversation. It's funny, right? It's <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I guess I missed it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think it's just like, it depends on your aim, right? Like, I think um, when you're making a video, like when people make videos for a purpose, then they got to think of the purpose first. Like, well, what is the purpose of your video? What do you want people to do after they've seen it? <laughs> That's what I don't understand sometimes. It's because it, it's the only thing it made me made me feel like is like, oh man, if anyone watches this, they're definitely not going to be interested unless they're, 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 they're those people in the video that you've used because they're going to laugh and say, ah, okay, well, maybe I'll check it out. Anyone else would be like, holy cow, this is a, it just looked like a farce. It looked like a farce. It's supposed to. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to look ridiculous. But, but you asked me if we're going to, if we can have a wait list of people who are wanting to join after watching this video. And I think you don't need a wait list. There's not going to be anyone waiting. <laughs> Do you know Kyle? Have you met Kyle? I don't think you did. I don't think so. <laughs> See the guy that says, this is my life every day. I wake up in the morning and say, this morning sucks. Yeah. <laughs> that made me laugh. That made me laugh. <coughs> I mean, the, the, I guess that's my humor of, of the, these are the people that I actually work with. These are the, so it's not even... I'm not, all I have to do is juxtapose me with all this order and straightness and planetary guardians into the reality of my experience with people. <laughs> well, yeah, but unless you want more of those experiences, I wouldn't put that out there. Yeah, but they're, it's they're, like, they're, they're actually... I, we had a bunch I think of it's odd. It's, it's well, like, do, do, you, do you know about like the law of attraction and that theory and stuff? Like, Are you, are you, are you a believer in that? What do you say? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, your motivation as an actor or whatever you want to say. Because, like, if you're if you're trying to, if you believe in that and you think you're going to get back, you know, what you believe in, because I, I think there's, you know, whether there's some metaphysical thing happening or not, I think there is something to the idea that, you know, you become the people that you surround yourself with. You become, you know, the, the person that you, you act like, that sort of thing. Mm. You know, if you pretend to be something for long enough, you'll actually become that, you know, because because it's just natural. You, know, you end up like trying to do better at the role, figure out what that person would actually act like, what they would wear, what they would do, what they would say. Eventually it becomes habit and you actually well, do become that person. Right? I have like imagine this guy. He's got this idea to change the world. He's got this plan and no one really understands the plan. No one really believes in the plan. And he's just he's, he's always talking about this plan, but he's, he's just surrounded by chaos. But within the chaos, these things are actually occurring. What people see may just be these actions like in this video, but behind the scenes, there's a lot going on, like the uh, software program or like the card set or like the, the true sort of value that is kind of hidden because you actually want to protect that value from the real world because it's pretty ruthless. And if they knew that type of value is there, it would get attacked. So you put this front, you put a camouflage of very secret plan which is just looks like a bunch of hippies kind of doing nothing but that's the front the camouflage because when you go within the plan 
there's all this gold, but it's only the people who know about the plan know that inside the gold is there, right? And the comedy is just natural life. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, it depends what you want to do. So, I mean, by making videos that show that showcase that kind of reality, um, yeah, it's going to work as a well, shield, but you're not going to be able to get people that way to, to get well, more probably. Maybe like there's different parts of the web and there's just different things you do. And the very secret plan, part of the humor is it never goes anywhere, anywhere. So it's, it's this thing that appears to be going nowhere. Now that's just, let's say it's just between the people who are in the plan. Cause like you are one of 19 people. Did you know that? That are the first 20 people in the very secret plan. Did you know I that? I have no idea what the hell is. I have no idea. No. Okay. There's a video that explains there's 20 people. Of the people that I does know, it have, does it have at least nineteen views? Because if it doesn't, we're in trouble. <laughs> I, I don't think I did put it up. I did put it up once, and only four of you fuckers watched it, and that depressed well, me so much. You put, I on, you, you put out like I tag out like fifteen videos a week, and you tag everyone in the world, and we don't know what the hell's going on. I would get tagged in so many things all the time. I don't. Like I hold back I... on tag. I barely tag you. I'm putting up way more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like, I don't know. Uh, I had the same conversation with Brandy. You know, Brandy the, the, who runs the Eco Village, right? She's like, she has a lot of people that really like the Eco Village. And, you know, but she was new to Facebook. And when she start, first started posting some stuff, she would end up tagging like everyone on her friends list for basically every, with every single post. And it really bugged the hell out of a lot of people. And we identified that as a problem, right? Um, as as like something that would probably actually prevent people from from engaging and, and getting involved in the eco build and stuff because they would start to filter that out because they just see this their so their selves always tagged in these things they would just stop looking at them for sure and I think I think you know similar things happen here? here I think so I think I think you have I think you you have something good we got a good software platform we got people that tested it who are pretty uh, you know influential people in a way I think it's got a good, uh, good potential future here um and then also yeah i understand what you're saying about like needing a smoke screen um uh, perhaps so that you know and if, if anyone looks up the very secret plan or if anyone looks up planetary guardians or looks up your name they're gonna find a bunch of jokes and like silly stuff that they're gonna say oh yeah this person's not, never gonna go anywhere or this this plan is is a bunch of weird hippie stuff so so the you know the this the one sees this person is tracking us is like the only person who, who might actually think there's something to it and they're just getting paid to try to figure out if that's true or not but most people are just they look at it they laugh and they walk away but i think you might be at the point now where you are trying to you know get people to, to get on board the team though and that, well, that that's not how they're going to get on board no i know i mean did you watch the one before that though no okay watch the one before that because it's it's it actually i clearly state what the situation is there's no editing it's just me speaking can we watch it live right now sure can, can you can i bring it up on my screen and share yeah, it I i'll can, uh, kind of... i'll make you host all right oh this could be i, I it's hard wa it's hard watching me with somebody else it's hard just well, frick, it's hard trying to freaking video yourself you know it's hard to get feedback too. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to accept feedback for sure. As any anyone like that's what we're we're not we're not geared up for that. So I'll try to be brutal and honest here. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about kind and encouraging? Both, both. That'd I'll, be some I'll, good I'll say that part. Well, yeah, I will. I will. So is this the one? Yeah. Well, I don't have any sound. Oh, maybe it's not playing sound yet. So here's the situation. All right, can you hear yourself? Kind of. It's maybe you should just watch it. Up, watch it by yourself, and then and then. No, no, because I want to. We have a software program I called Planetary yet. Guardians Chat Stream, and this chat stream is a way for a person to teach or help twelve facilitators then get their own team of 12 to go through missions together in a chat room where you set an objective and you have a point score 
and you have a time limit. And within this chat stream, your team learns to use that particular communication medium to achieve the objective. If you are a facilitator and you are looking for a new way to bring teams together where you will get training first and then you get to use the tool to train other facilitators. So you can use it to bring your own work into the world. You can use it to bring someone else's work into the world, or use it, you can use it to bring the work that you learn within this Planter Guardians media game and the Media Paradigm Toolkit, the tools within there to help teams go from one place to another. If this interests you, contact me. We're looking for facilitators to start to bring into the program as we speak. All right, well, I mean, there's, yeah, I can't really say anything bad about that. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I hadn't seen that one yet. Um, yeah, no, that's pretty good. I mean, the one with the editing was me just fooling around today. And I was, you know, whenever I edit like that, it's, it's hodgepodge. I mean, most of the videos I'm making are just me, one thing, trying to say one thing, and then I'm getting quite a lot of volume. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build up the repository of the knowledge, you know, to be put in lots of different places, but to actually just, there's a lot of stuff I either have to explain or just instruct. And it's just little bits and pieces kind of thing. And I also see that a lot of people that when they get popular at some point, if there is any sort of anti-government stuff, they get taken down, you know, as soon as you get popular in some way. Um, so I want to find a way to kind of distinguish the educational from the political and have it so maybe that's the comedy or that's the the political stuff is like very secret plan kind of stuff and it's just it's well it's different I think, the educational stuff can stand on its own i think i think you you have a, a ton of videos that are politically whatever and that would you know if, if you're worried about that you're, you're guaranteed that that's going to happen at this point because <laughs> you create them all the time uh, <laughs> i think the only way to do that is to actually have two different youtube accounts for example have one that's serious and have this one that, that you do for fun. Mm. Like keep the one that you, that you wear costumes for and you, and you, and you do it as a full comedy thing. Keep that as a separate thing from, from what you're trying to create as a business. You know, whether it's in a new paradigm or an old paradigm, you're trying to create some sort of entity that can bring your stuff forward and also do it in a way that can hire people to, to you know, get paid to do this. Right. Obviously. I think that that should be, and that's going to have to be its own channel, I think, like its own YouTube account, so that when they when they take down your account because you're saying too much stuff about five G or, or or you know coronavirus or whatever else it might be that they don't like, then at least you know that won't it won't affect the other account hopefully. Yeah, but yeah, I think so. It's just yeah, you got to come at yeah, like you got to come at that stuff from a different angle and separate the two. You got to you got to not integrate that stuff. Yeah. That's one of those places where integration is bad. <laughs> you can't integrate your, your personal life with your business life. I really don't think that's a good idea. Not unless you're a celebrity who, who like Paris Hilton or someone who, who's famous and makes money from her own personality. Yeah. And I don't think, I hope you don't want to be someone that is making money from their own personality image. Like, <laughs> like you know, those people ultimately always go insane. Like, you know. <laughs> Or have to complete nervous breakdowns because they're because they're playing this character twenty four seven and their character has become their life and like that's not healthy I don't think. I think you anyway you know what I mean I think you need to disintegrate those two, unintegrate them, and start a you know we could start a chat stream, or or whatever you know. I would suggest that you start a second account if you want to be in charge of the, all the videos and everything to start a second account uh, and then upload some of these same videos onto there and then delete them from here, you know, and start to separate them. Okay. And then when you make new videos, be real conscious about which account you upload them to. Because because when someone from, from LinkedIn, for example, goes and, and Googles your name, what do they find right they find all this weird silly silly stuff and they're not they're not going to be interested in working with us not in a serious capacity an investor is going to be pretty wary about investing well, money in, in and, and, and unless we've got a hundred thousand people using our tool then it's 
Yeah. Yeah, but we're not going to get 100,000 people using our tool without some way of getting the 100,000 people to try it in the first place, which is either just straight up, you know, brute force advertising, which is basically just a whole bunch of money or some kind of catchy campaign well, no, that, but it's, that entices people, you know, which is possible. I don't, I don't think you quite get what we got because we've got a built-in multi-level system. I know, but like it, it just it like works. a built-in... Like whatever, whatever it is that we want to do, we're going to have like the people are going to want to create their own team to be like whoever comes in at some point facilitates another team. And that's it. All we have to do is have one person facilitate 12 and each one of those facilitates 12. And that's well, right now it's only a three level system. Right. But I mean, right. let's say as soon as they go to the bottom, like let's say someone like Lucille came to us and say, I love this. I want to do it. So now they pop around and then they get a platform and then they. They do it. Well, that's what they've already done. That's what they're doing now, right? They've they got are. a platform. No, I'm well, just yeah, saying that the people, group, so. the people in Lucille, the participant, like let's say a participant goes, hey, I love this software. I want to use it. That would right. be them then starting up at the platform level if they yep. wanted to create, right? Yeah, and then they can create as many groups as they want and add as many members to each of those groups as they feel like. But there's, but it's not multi-level in the, in the idea that, you know, um, there's, there's like infinite levels or something. Well, I think I actually saw that to get 144,000, we just have to go down five levels. Maybe, or we could just get a thousand people using thousand, like a thousand different platforms. True. With 144 people each, that's probably True. easier. Otherwise, all those people have to be connected somehow. And that takes that. That's different. Both yeah, I mean, be better. Yeah, both. Definitely both. Yeah, like um, yeah, I think on a business business level or or whatever, the, the, I think the easiest way forward or the most efficient or most uh, I think potential way forward is yeah, let's see how likes our stuff, one or two, or even just one person from the one four four groups. Uh, they say, hey, you know, I really like this. I want to use this for whatever, my organization, my business, my my school, whatever it might be. And then they want, they they want to, you know, they want a platform, right? And then and then, you know, other people say they want a platform. And and but that first person even giving us some money would be enough for us to perhaps spend a little bit on advertising and get more people to want platforms and pay us money and then, and then it just starts cascading right if you want to you know it depends how you want to approach it well i'm working on, i mean i it's what it's looking like i mean the neat part might be 20 people from the secret plan um each getting the chance to start a platform um but i've got a lot there's so many different ways to use this man so many different ways yeah i think that's what we need is is we need someone to be able to make a promo video for this thing and not just like you're doing a good job with that last video is good it does a good job of, of inviting facilitators to join it but that's pretty niche niche audience and then you have to get it into their view like find facilitators who who were already like you know doing a facilitation as a job or something or, or a role in a, some organization and they're looking for a new platform that's pretty niche but it's there it is one piece of the market I think what we need though is a is a promo video, like something that you would see if you Googled uh, or if you went on YouTube and typed in Reich or 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 you know um, Monday.com or any of these freaking things. They'll have little promo videos, you know, showing how how it helps the organization and 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 a bunch of screenshots and things moving around. And, you know, that's what we need. Yeah. Ultimately, I think to go anywhere. And then, because then. <coughs> Then we don't even need to really necessarily get money right away. What we can do is have that video, um, <clears throat> give it a name, maybe. Maybe this chat stream platform could, could be its own name uh, and it's still part of everything else, but also be represented as itself, have its own website like chatstream.com or something, whatever it might be. Yeah. And then they go on there. It's a, it's a, info, you know, that anyone can go on that website and see the little promo video, see some screenshots, see some markup. And then a buy now button or, or sign up now or whatever it ends up being. And then we send, we start sending that link and the promo video to organizations all over the place, nonprofits saying, Hey, use our thing for free. And then once we get a hundred people, hundred platforms, and we say, Hey, we got, you know, a hundred different organizations using this. 
blah, blah, blah. Not to mention they test it for us. They ask for customizations. We add more options to what we can sell. And then, and then we go after companies to sell it. I, I still think that's a good model. It's giving it away for free to organizations and selling it to corporations. And also having always one kind of public version that's somewhere else, like a, a third website that's that's you know something else.com, maybe planetaryguardians.net. And that just becomes one place where anyone could sign up, become a planetary guardian or whatever. And they and they all and they're already in the system. They become part of some group in in a in a you know in a chat stream, et cetera, and they work towards something with a bunch of other software that we create or through bike or whatever else. So there's so there's the public one where anyone can just jump on and use it. You know, I think anyway, I think we're at the point where yeah, it's it's got a good potential, but we need uh, to professionalize it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we need to test it and we need to build all the marketing documents plus the container for the, as you say, the website or multiple websites. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And I think, yeah, to, to start separating the videos is a good idea at this point. Yeah. Or even just double, even just uploading also those videos to one account that just has nothing but chat stream stuff on it. Yeah. So that, you know, yeah. someone can go on there and learn all about chat stream. Eventually we, we, we edit that stuff and we call some of them and it becomes like, a playlist of like using using chat stream for the first time and a couple promo videos for chat stream and a couple like reviews from different clients blah 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 you know it becomes a company youtube at some point yeah yeah and i mean every product needs its own sort of container and and uh, team and methodology and all that so we have two yeah. products now yeah and i think still um and none of that by itself will build a new paradigm but it's 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 all many steps inside a larger very secret plan that will yes yeah. is, is how i understand it yes yeah okay because i have some ideas about that too in in creating a vacuum system basically excellent <laughs> yeah one well, of the main reasons I, I want to be involved is because i know we need a new economy it's one of the main reasons I want to be involved. So I know we need a new type of economy, a new system. You know, this one's broken. That's why I made that video I made. It's, we need a whole other system. We do. You know, but uh, humanity is just reaching that level of consciousness now on a very small, small percentage. And those percentage are still confused and disorganized and unconnected to create connections and, and, and ways to collaborate that's that's what net needs to happen so that those people can find each other get connected and and actually use some kind of systems to, in order to do what they need to do you know in, in order to change things or to build a new system whatever not even just change things just create an alter an alternative that's all i think if you try to change things you end up you know you're you're basically attacking systems that are currently in effect instead we just need to create other systems very much so. All right. <clears throat> I'm hearing on my radar that, you know, we got about three years till they take the internet down completely. Really? Apparently. Probably about that. Maybe less. You know, that's the next big move because that's ultimately the only thing we got, right? Yeah. That's the only chance that, that the average person has to do anything about this and to create a new system. We're not going to be able to create a new system um, <clears throat> very easily or efficiently without the internet. And uh, they know that. They're putting steps in place. They're having, you know, global conferences on what would happen if the internet crashed. That's the, always the first step towards actually doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's an accident or not, I suspect that that's going to happen. Within well, the they've years. already been warning about the next thing, next big red flag is the cyber attack. That, that's what they're talking about. Yeah, the cyber attack that takes down the internet and they can't fix it. You know, then we get the news from the military again and the government, that's all that's left. The phone calls might work, but we can't, can't do, you know, emails won't work you know websites are broken they can't do anything like that anymore youtube's gone wikipedia is gone how can people go insane well yeah that's great for them people you know get us all hooked on that lock us down for two or three or five years in a row so we're reliant on the system and then break it Oof, yeah good move 
you know, everyone's working remotely. Everyone's saying, well, at least the internet's there. I can sit at home and talk to people on the internet. Boom, that's gone. Now what do they do? Well, I guess they're going to listen to the man. They're going to do what they're told. It's very depressing. You know? Everything's very yeah. depressing. So I think, well, it's not just depressing. It's, it's, I hope it's galvanizing for anyone who watches this video in the future. Hopefully it still exists. Hopefully this galvanizes you into saying, well, fuck, we got about three years left to do something about this and get organized. You know, otherwise it's just a waste of time. Because they the internet goes down, we're fucked. <laughs> you know, we got the, yeah. How many research points you got? Uh, I think like less than 300. What? <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't play that much. You can I log in. I log in once or twice a day for five minutes. That's it. Oh. I, I've got too many other things to do, right? <laughs> Nothing. I was actually starting. talking to someone just before this. I was talking to someone I met on LinkedIn. He approached me. He's a music producer, like a, a independent music producer. He wants to make music for the game. Really fantastic. So, the first yeah, thing is get rid of that, awesome. that that thing. That's the most annoying noise. <laughs> Uh, the music that I made. You pick the most annoying noise. <laughs> it took me a while to turn it off. Yeah, I know. I gotta make that an option at the start. Like, do you want to listen to the music? Yes or no? <laughs> people people will then, stop just because of that one thing. I know. I know. Well, that's I'm great sure. if he if he's if he's willing to make sounds for everything. Well, yeah, just the background music. Then I I'm gonna start looking into sound effects so that you know you click a button and it makes a beep noise or whatever else is something just so there's something in the game like that um, and slowly improve that i'm going to try to improve the i did have a phone call a one-on-one -on -one video call also someone yesterday uh who's a he's a professional like anal, uh, quality analyst and, and tester for electronic arts and he gave me quite a lot of good feedback and he also said he likes my game a lot and he's going to continue to play so that's pretty cool awesome <laughs> what did he say yeah. Um, he said, actually, he mentioned one of the things that would be good is to have music for different screens, you know, redo the music. Um, and then also, he, we talked a lot, of, he talked a lot about an in, in-game economy and, and, you know, how to monetize the site, you know, that sort of thing. And also, yeah, just some, some kind of, some specific minor things to, to change or to improve. Yeah. You must be getting a lot more feedback with all these testers in it. Are you saying there's 146 people in the game right now? Uh, 145, I think. <laughs> how many? How many have stopped playing? Like, how many stopped from the get go? Uh, it's hard to tell. It's, uh, I'll be able to tell in probably one more week from now. I'll be able to take kind of account of it. But some people they will they will only play once a week, and yet they'll continue to play. And once things speed up, they'll, they'll play a lot more. That's what happened last time. So. I don't know. I can't tell you. It's too early. Mm. But I am tracking everything. So, you know, I'll know when they dropped out and why, or at least what they did, you know, until they dropped out. Their activity is... is the, guy, the guy beside me is a, is a bit slow. He's, he's still on his, his first... Uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't got the second uh, drive yet, and he's trying to do space, space exploration with science vessels. Oh no! Yeah, I'm sure a bunch of people have tried to do that. I haven't seen any ships leave their system anywhere around me. I'm the only one flying ships around. So same with me. Like, yeah, like he's the only guy who was doing it with this. <laughs> it's like it's like he's building this wooden canoe, and you're beside him. You're building a supersonic jet, <laughs> and you're both using the same materials, and you're kind of uh, what's going on here. <laughs> Yeah. And he's got these free and he's building lots of frigates because he's I guess he, he I don't know if he was worried about me or like I had a destroyer planted right outside his his planet for like at least three or four years waiting for him yeah. to kind of I was just waiting to go and I was just about to to, to build another few with some bombs and I was gonna nuke him. <laughs> <laughs> why though why why are you so violent now so well it's it's just like <laughs> so you're like, trying to avoid war and you think that it shouldn't even have to have a war in the game no no but i'm saying like, there's, there's, I if I should or not. there's 150 people in this game 150 the last game we had 20 
And and so at what, the, you might as well just nuke a bunch of them, is what you're thinking. Well, no, but I mean, the <laughs> thing is, it's it's about territory. This guy's right beside me, right? So at some point, we're all we're all going for the same resources. Or if I go attack somebody, he's there right beside me all the time. I mean, if anyone's going to cut my throat, it's going to be him. Right? Yeah. Well. So yeah. take him out the beginning. Take him out before he gets strong, and just uh, that planet now is my planet. That's planet system. Or he's like the guy b b beside me and you who's, who's just sitting in the background doing his stuff. But at some point, he might build some big infrastructure and he's friendly. But mm -hmm. um, this game isn't the same. There's not going to be the same amount of colony. Like, us with 20 or 30 colonies It's going to be like 100, 100 guys with like four or five colonies would be my guess. We don't yeah. know. We, we don't know what's going to happen. Like probably... A coalition of, of of four or five will get to, or we'll get together and start eating people. Yeah, I've been yeah I've been working on creating a, or thinking about creating a leaderboard as well, and I think you're number four. Number four. There's a couple of players have five colonies already, but you're actually ahead of of technology. You're one ahead of the next person. Then. Yeah, so you have more you have more technologies research than anyone, as of yesterday at least. Oh really? Well, because like I like guess what? I'm going six days now. In six days, I'm gonna have mining ships. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> and then once I get mining ships, then I'm going for the metal alloys because it doesn't matter what you like. It's this game is so slow because I'm I'm at 34 metal alloys, and if I don't have tons of colonies, my first colony had no metal alloys. The fucking thing. Mm. it was a water planet it's in my <laughs> system how can do you know there's so many water planets that don't have that are zero metal alloys totally random it's it doesn't matter this you know like this is way different from last game there's there's way less things over half a million like there's it's rare oh. to find a lanth or metal alloy that's over half a million yeah and that's before fair. there was tons because because actually half a million because it's half it's half a billion because it's, it's or it's parts per parts per million no it's half a million so if you have half a million parts per million that means half the planet is literally made of lanthanides or, or metal alloys right it means like the, the planet itself is mostly that it's not very common like our 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 planet is you could say two-thirds water but that's not true it's just the surface is two-thirds water right yeah but i mean what I'd love one day I want to see all your formulas. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you just came up with shit. Yeah. yeah. But it but it must have been fun. But at some point you have to be very decisive. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I still well think I still think that the beginning resource levels were too low. Yeah, well, I changed it after you said that too. I gave everyone a hundred extra on everything, and then I added another hundred for everyone who joined so they join with a hundred and something each okay i'd still give it another two or three hundred because you no no, no no that's enough <laughs> but you know what i'm gonna do ultimately is when they join they're gonna you know there's gonna be three or four different scenarios they're gonna join they're gonna join the team play game they're gonna join you know the 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 free-for-all like everyone for himself game they're gonna join you know and then and then there's gonna be uh, like the accelerated games and 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 like um, marathon games where it takes like months to play yeah. and ones that take like you get through like up to re research level three within like two weeks. Wow. Or maybe a week, maybe a week. I don't know. And you're, you're, you know, within like 15 minutes, you've got, you know, you've got colony ships going out. You've got your destroyers being, uh, you know, five space yards and, you know, four colonies already by hour or two. Like, yeah, some, some people want to play like, like that. Why not? Do you know what I was thinking about this? We could combine the two. I know you don't like the integration, but just think about this. We have 12 teams of 12. That And they're starting in both. They're in the planetaryguardians.net with the 12 facilitators, and they have 12 teams of 12. So the 12 facilitators are trying to find their people. So you basically have 12 teams of 12. They're scattered through the game and you have people offline talking in the chat rooms like everyone build a science ship. That's mission one. 
Next one is everyone send out, you know, find. Uh, anyway, you come up with missions, right? There are all specific milestones within your game. And then you, yep. you send them on the missions. And so you've got them communicating now. They're all spread through the game. You don't know where they are. And then over time, your, your 12 teams are fighting against 12 teams. I do like it, actually. And then, um, you know, ultimately it could be, you know, closer to the end of the game when people are level three tech and stuff, maybe level four and level five could get into more peaceful stuff. And, and actually by the end of that era or whatever, you got all 12 teams beginning to talk to each other too and actually form one big galactic empire or one big galactic alliance that then, then has to take on the other galaxies. Ah. That'd be cool. Yeah. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not right now. I mean, I've got too much stuff to do. Right now, i got to get background music and try to, you know, rework some of the, the interface stuff and, and, like, tweak the numbers here and there. <laughs> oh, you know, I've, I've got to get this to a point where where it's, it's uh, you know, I don't know, a better. It's got to be a little bit better before I change it. You got to get intercept. Yes, I got to get intercept done. I got to get invasion finished. Those two things those are, are massive. Yeah, those two things are massive. And, and, I, and those and long, then, long range missiles. Yeah, the interstellar ballistic missiles and also the deep space construction. Those, those are massive. And also the, the species evolution. Yeah, all those, all those kind of late game things are still on my radar. And now I got to get them done before 145 people find out they're not working yet. <laughs> what's, going with G, what's going on with Gino? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on his project. It should be done soon. And I got to get those VR glasses. Um, oh, yeah. New Zealand just went down to level three, finally. So I got pizza yesterday, or pizza today and Chinese food yesterday. And then uh, I'll, I'll be able to go to the store and find some VR glasses soon. VR glasses. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm number four. What's that in research points or just overall? Uh, overall, because you only have one colony last time I looked. Well, because I kept waiting for my stupid freaking terraforming thing to, to, to go. Yeah. So, well, so I'm, I'm ahead in tech, that. but I'm behind in colony. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the colony because my mind because I'm going mining ships, the colonies aren't going to be and because I'm doing so much research with my uh, with my other things, I think I'm actually yeah, you'll you'll need more colonies for the research, but not right away. You probably yeah. probably what you're doing is pretty good. Maybe after six days from now, I would definitely suggest creating more colonies. Maybe just research specific colonies. Then. Well, no, no, I'm going to get my my engine going. To to, to yeah. Because yeah. then I'm then I can get the sh ships, and I think I'm I, I'm just if I my mining ships is going to bring in my my metal alloys. My metal alloys will build my ships, and then I'm just going to go toast some people. I think I'll build a fleet and then just start to roasting people. <laughs> All right, well, I think you're going to be the new uh, the new the, uh, what we call Jabba the Hot here. You, is is he the one of the three above me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's doing good. He's got. He's basically number one. I think what, at least how, he does, how, does he, how does he do it? I don't know. I don't know, actually. <laughs> Him and Hot Dogs are both doing real good. And then Mark really? is doing real good. Too. Hot Dog 2, his number two guy? And you're, what yeah, do you I'd do? say number, Hot Dog's number three. Who's at number two? Uh, uh, Mark. Oh, the, your oh. Other, the other guy, Gover. Yeah, also oh, the, the top brutalized are, last one. I think he's very, he's very, has a lot of incentive to do better this time. <laughs> Fox, then, we, yeah. got the, we got the same old, we got the top, the top, uh, the top gamers. That's funny. And you're, where, how far down are you? Because you, you're spending no time. I think I'm number 15 or number 20, maybe. <laughs> that's not, that's pretty good considering. Yeah. Well, I wonder if my thing is I'm not, I'm not doing anything military. I'm just building infrastructure and then aiming at the getting my mining going. And if I do go militaries later on, I, no one's going to attack at this early stage. 
I don't think so. It's stupid. I mean, he, if he sends a couple of frigates, I'll I'll wipe the shit out of him. <laughs> if he does anything in attack, if anyone attacks me in any way, then I'm gonna fucking <laughs> count. <laughs> well, yeah, you're ready this time. That's it. Eh? We're the good guys. We we don't attack if you even touch anything of our shit. Well, I mean, I can think. Hey, of where where is Jabba and Hot Dog? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that is to say, I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm always trying to get intel. You used to give me intel, <laughs> but you don't do it anymore. No, no. You you know enough about the game to to you know. You dangerous. Compete now. Yep. Well, definitely. You know. I love that move. Do you know that move? Remember when Hot Dog was streaking across my stuff and just irritating the shit out of us with his uh, raids? And then just planting <laughs> planting that base right outside his his empire and doing the death blow? That, that like was my greatest achievement, I think, of the year. And Gover, he, he, he kept coming... <laughs> Everyone had left the game, but he was still going after Java. Did he take him down? I think he did, eh? Um, no, eventually, no, like Jabba and Hot Dogs both stopped playing. Yeah. Um, because it was summertime and they wanted to, you know, they both got kids and they wanted to do more family stuff. And, you know, and then so they basically stopped, mostly stopped playing. And then eventually their empires just disappeared because they, they quit logging in. Okay. So it wasn't yeah, just it my death of, blow. The last game just petered out. Yeah. Well, it was it was like I think we would have if we all went full in, we would have taken them out. But they yeah. they were tough. They're gonna be tough to beat this time. Wolf, yeah. They're <laughs> I mean that was that remember that was his first game last time too. Both wow. of them. So they're they're, they're veterans now, and they were also like really all star rookies last time. So, yeah, I don't know what to expect this time. I'm, I'm just trying to keep it low key right now. So, that's it. Hey. Hey. Hello. 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 <laughs> Munch oh, number sure. one. Well, she's got. Um. Oh, thank you. What you got for me? Ooh. Very nice. What's that? Can't quite see it. <clears throat> I'll make, um, <clears throat> I know what, I'll start working on the website for the chat stream and the promo video. And uh, no, just get, just don't, don't do anything like that. Oh, why not? You just said this. Right? Remember? One, two, three. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get out of here, guys. Get out of here. You guys are going to use that because you're not talking. Either. Huh? You got to say something. You can't just, just make weird faces at people on, on the camera. That's weird. No, get out of here. You're not going to say anything. You got <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I would say uh, just think about it. Don't do anything yet. Um, why? Why do you say no? Well, I, I think because I think if we're going to make a website for it, we should you know we should talk about what kind of website it should look like and stuff first. Don't just throw a website up all of a sudden. I think it's a bad idea. You're not a web designer. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should concentrate your your efforts in um, getting the the planetary guardians team together. You know, get them to commit to something. Like, what, where's what's going on with Jordan? You said he's 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 in. He he's just doing, got, he's gonna do stuff. He, he just became homeless again. Oh shit! 
The group is homeless. Um, who, <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> kind of the team is Lair is homeless. <laughs> what? Yeah. The cow. Yeah. She has Do they all live in the same city? She, what's that? Do they happen to all live in the same city? Mm, no. Okay. Two different cities. Well, maybe they could. Maybe they could get a plant. Maybe, you know, put, put their heads together and, you know, get a planetary guardian's house. You know, rent a, a, rent a place together. Well, I was I was aiming at that. I mean, I, my thing is until I get the card, the card thing to me is the thing to make the money that I could easily make the money with, I think. Yeah, so with that. I'm I'm just in the middle of getting the box. Like it's just in the middle of getting printed right now. Nice. So, okay. so I'm 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 close, but it, like anything, right? It just takes time to get everything ready. Well, yeah, yeah. All this will take time. Um, hmm. But yeah, no. Yeah, I started I, I, I started talking to people, and I do have, you know, a pretty strong cadre of really like people who could handle getting 12 people in um yeah that's good so and i think still we need to we need uh team members to help with with stuff like direct work from the company too or whatever you want to call it like it would be great for if we if we had someone who could make a promo video for example i'm not good with that i don't i don't and i don't have the software to do any of that well jordan could i mean uh -huh. i can do it i mean if i really focused on okay make a professional one that's going to work i mean that's and and work on it rather than just come up with something in an hour or two well then that sounds like a really good use of energy <laughs> if you could do that then i would suggest that you do it okay make the promo video don't worry about the website i can make the website or we can make it together you know okay but with the promo video itself i think that that could be your focus maybe while you're waiting for the other stuff to happen because even if it takes you a hundred hours, it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's good. I need help from you to focus me sometimes. So this is like, this is, oh, I told you too. I need the same thing when we started working together. That, that's very helpful for me. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I guess, I guess we do do it. I think you've been doing yeah. great for your support for LSEL. You've, you've really been, have you seen that. the emails yeah. like lately with me and yeah. Uh, Olivier? Yeah. I've been reading them. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I think, okay, I think, uh, no, don't brush me with that. It's covered in chalk, gross. Um, yeah, I, have, I, I get the sense that he's, he's working on it or they're working with it now. I don't know. I guess, obviously not the teams because I don't know anything about it, but I imagine they're testing it or something. Someone had a problem with their screen size. I don't, I don't, yeah. I'm not exactly sure why, but that means to me that maybe they went through a test already. I don't know. No, I, I think he sent it out. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> I'm a little well, shut yeah, our, It's our job to make sure that they have a good experience, a good first experience, because then, you know, that's that's the key. I think to that that's our best chance right now of of, of gaining support or investors early on. Yeah. No. It, yeah. Well, they just seem it always seems something to go wrong, like fucking software. There's always some little bug. <clears throat> yeah there usually is but that's okay i mean there's been a bunch of things wrong with with it so far <laughs> that's why I've, I've been struggling to fix them but they're getting fixed yeah and uh we'll we'll fix them we'll get there no i think you've been doing great um okay i think i'm gonna go to bed all right fair good to see you and uh I'll start working on that. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, if you need any constructive feedback or, or suggestions well, or whatever else. Or maybe me what, what you could do is may, maybe just um, give me your ideas for what you think has to be in there, maybe even with a sequence. Yeah, okay. Give, give, me, give me a rough, you know, give me a rough structure because I'm always coming with structures, but give me what, what you think first. And then maybe okay. we'll, we'll start from there. All right. I will. I'll give that some thought tonight. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Did you get a haircut? Uh, no. You brushed it back. Yeah, it's uh, got a man bun going on here. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, my brother. All right, man. Much love to you and your family. Yeah, yeah you too. All right.